Money is a magnifier of what you do. Magnifier of who you are. If you're a good person, more money will make you, you more of a good person. If you're a bad asshole, money will reveal that to people. Only reason I am, but I am in my life very gratefully with the God's grace and the support of the, of the, of the people who love me um, is because I changed my group consistently. When you said big, <laughs> you know, sometimes people ask me about Vishal, what is one routine I can use in order to maximize, maximize my results in life? I gotta tell you, there are many things you can do in life, but one thing that I like doing in my life, and I'm gonna give you five secrets on what to do is the first one for me is to make sure that I have some me time to think. Number one, me time to think. And I'm not talking about me time where I, you know, I, I, I'm a big proponent of self-care and silence, but I'm talking about a me time to think. And I'm not talking about just planning and, and just overthinking, but real thinking about what I need to do next, what's my next move in life not what I need to do tomorrow, what's my next move in life. It's very, very important. Most people don't do that and that's why they have an average life. So that's the first thing. Second tip that I have in order to transform your life for yourself is you gotta hang out with the right people. Hang out with the right people. What do I mean by that? See, sometimes when people look at uh, the successful ventures or the successful habits or the successful results, the, you know, the, the health, the relationship, right? People say, oh my God, uh, he has something special in him. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I don't have anything special in me, okay? I really struggled with many things for a long time in my life. The only reason I am where I am in my life, very gratefully with the God's grace and the support of the, of, of the people who love me um, is because I changed my group consistently. What I mean by that is, you know, the friends that I had in the past, some of them I'm in touch with, but for many reasons, because of their maybe old programming or the negativity, I just, created a new standard of people that I would like to hang out with. Not because of their lifestyle, but because their view of life, how they see the courage. For example, if you think about it, average people take long time to make a decision. Any life-changing decision, they will say things like, I need to think about it, I need to pray about it, I'm not ready. They are never ready. Successful and ultra successful people, they take fast decision. I mean, this, this afternoon, there was a big decision that, um, you know, an associate of mine and, and I took uh, in our personal lives financially a big financial investment into something and immediately after we got done with it we went for lunch and during the lunch the first thing that we started talking about is hey I'm grateful for this this is amazing we did it amazing congratulations we shook hands and then I said let's talk about the next one what are we gonna do next See, an average person, they would take a small decision and they would start celebrating for the next two to three years. Successful people, they celebrate, but then they upgrade their life. Does that make sense to you? So you need to change the people that you're hanging out with. That's the second tip. Uh, so the biggest improvement is I already feel a bit more confident uh, compared to uh, the conference. In my opinion, Vishal Sarkar is a mentor one must have. Third tip I have for you to transform your life completely, especially when it comes to whether it's your speaking, your presentation, mastery, your confidence, your life, your time freedom, your productivity, is you have to learn to contribute. As you move up in life, sometimes it's very important to look back and see who are the people who I can help without expecting anything at all. Now this can be, for example, people. This can be people at the old age home, people at the orphanages, you know, people um, that, that you don't need to be known to at all. You know, you, you give the money and don't expect that they will put your name in the fan or in the bench or they will write your name, not at all. You just give because you're a good person. Money is a magnifier of what you do, magnifier of who you are. If you're a good person, more money will make you, you more of a good person. If you're a bad asshole, Money will reveal that to people. So if you're a good person, it's an ethical responsibility for you to become successful in life and give back to the society. And sometimes when I talk about give back to society, sometimes people think, yeah, I just donated this little money into this NGO. Money is the easiest thing to give. What else can you give? How else can you add value? How else can you contribute by you know, not just giving money? But maybe you can give your time, your, your, your resources. You can teach something. You can share. 
you know, you can go out there, it can be a game changer right there. So people sometimes do that inside our program. People in our mastermind do that consistently and they change their lives. That's the third tip. For example, you can go and give speeches. You know, you can go you know, from the sewing machine, just like Rajesh did. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who do that. The reason for that is very simple is because they understand the value of doing it. There is one person in our mastermind and uh, his name is Balash. Balash, one thing he's thinking about is he wants to big, create a big uh, Shiva temple in the next few years. And it's a huge one. He wants to do that. Plus, he, want to, he wants to make a big difference in people's lives. So this is all about contribution. The third, that's the third one. So the fourth tip that I have for you is you have to be open to blind spot recognition. Blind spot recognition. And for that, you need a mentor. Somebody who can... Not just, see, the second point is about the people you hang around with. The fourth point is about one specific mentor. So the problem with a lot of people is this. That there are two problems. Number one, average people either <laughs> they listen to nobody. They will not take any advice from anybody. They will like, I know everything on my own already. Let's sit down a bit. Right? I already know everything on my own. They listen to nobody. They think, why should I take advice? I already know. And that's why they waste years, 10, 15 precious years of their lives. And they still don't change. That's the, that's the worst part. They still don't change. The second bad habit is, so the first one is they listen to nobody. The second is they listen to everybody. They listen to everybody. Everybody they will take advice from. Oh, I'll take advice from this person, that person. The question is, how's that, how's that affecting your life? See, the problem is, imagine for a second, like, imagine... You want to build a nice house. You want to have a great, great house. Okay. Who are you going to take advice from? Somebody who lives in a small hut or somebody who has lived in a great house and who's living in a great house right now. Think about it. Right. So if you listen to everybody, oh, I want feedback from everybody. That's why you are not where you want to be. That's the fourth tip. Have a mentor. Be open to blind spot recognition. It's very, very important, very vital. And the fifth and the final tip I have for you is understand you're gonna die one day. So here's a question I want you to end with. I want you to ask yourself this question. If I only had one year left to live, how would I spend today? If I only had one year left to live. Now see Steve Jobs in his speech spoke about if you had only one day to live, how would you live the day? Now the problem with that statement is if I had one day left to live, uh, I would not do much probably. I'll just have some, some, some good cake, some halwa, I'll just be at home, I'll just talk, call some friends and I'd call some clients and that that's it i'm not going to challenge myself if i have just one day left that's why the question is if you had one year left to live how would you spend today what would you do today how would you create today to make sure that you're creating success in the next 364 days this is a vital question and average people don't ask that you know sometimes when i'm coaching an individual for example inside my one-on-one -on -one coaching program somebody who has paid me five crore rupees just to get coached by me one-on-one -on -one. and it's not for everybody i don't recommend people to join that because until you are really ready for a huge level of transformation not just financial success one thing i tell them in the beginning of the session is look we have to create a sense of urgency in you in the long term and we have to create peace of mind as well it's a balance you know you want to have the urge so you'll see a lot of times people are so much urgent they're checking their phone email all the time they're not peaceful so you need to have that peace so if you had one year left to live, how do you take care of your health? How do you take care of your relationship? How do you take care of the purpose? How do you take care of your mind? What would you prioritize that you haven't? What are the dreams that you'd like to chase that you never did before because you've been waiting for the perfect time and the perfect time never came. So these are the five tips that I have for you. And listen, here's what I want to let you know. People often struggle in life, not because they have to, but because they choose to subconsciously because they think that if I just struggle more, people will respect me more. This is an old programming that you got, maybe from your parents, maybe from, you know, God bless you, maybe your parents who, who, are, who might be old right now, who lived in an old life. That's what, that was an old time. Today, time is changing. The world is changing. The world is changing rapidly. And here's what I want to say right now. See, Mario Robinson had a quote that nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anybody can start today and make a new ending. You cannot go back 10 years from, you know, into, into the past and change your decisions, but you can start today. And in the next two to three years, you can see rapid transformation. You can triple your income. You can transform your body. You can change your, you know, you can heal your relationship, bring more happiness and intimacy and, and laughter and humor and happiness and peace of mind. Oh my God, Every, I'm getting so much excited talking about it. The reason for that is I can see that for you. I can see your future. The question is, do you see your future? 
Do you see and do you believe in that? And are you willing to pay the price for your success? Here is what I want to let you know. Okay, if you don't pay the price for your success, you will have to pay the price for your failure. And the price for failure is thousand times more than the price for success. I hope you enjoy these tips that I shared with you today from this beautiful place. I hope that sometimes you come hang out with me. We sit down here sometime, start talking, start chatting and talk about your life. Talk about transformation. Talk about humanity. Talk about contribution. Talk about, you know, connection. Talk about soul level peace of mind. Talk about alignment. Talk about assignment. Talk about consignment. Talk about believing. Talk about perceiving. Talk about achieving. Come on now. This is absolutely possible. Bishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. Take care. Best part of this program is it will push your limits. It will not give you a comfort. By hook or crook, you will be made a better version. Uh, if I have to you know, say it in few words, it would be customized mm. solution for your problems. Mm. That was really missing. So there was no customized solution? Absolutely not. See, when you uh, when you are beginner and when you join such courses, you learn to speak, right? But you don't know like where are you going. You are just right. speaking and speaking and speaking. And uh, as you always say, you know, the more you do wrong, like the way you do wrong, more of it you start doing it continuously. So that's yeah. the case that happened with me even. I I you, I still felt that I had that stiffness in my body language. Maybe I am not very good at my voice modulation or maybe I'm not that impactful when I share my story. And that's the reason I feel that there is no connection between me and my audience. So that was really missing. The value I got from this program is 100 times, 100x. And even if I, if, even I paid, even if I could pay 100 times more, I would be satisfied. I was always an approval seeker right from my childhood, which never allowed me to stay in peace. Now I more, no more seek approval from anyone, which, uh, which has increased uh, my peace. And also, I never, I am not trying to prove before anyone, uh, which has increased my confidence, uh, changed the entire perspective of my life. I am very thankful to Mr. Bishal for giving me an opportunity to learn great life lessons which have helped me in uh, in many ways and which had a great impact on my life hi i'm nagesh i've uh, been part of the mastermind uh, family today we had a great day uh, learned about the king of the mind process which helps you to shift your mindset when you're stuck could be in your personal or professional life i wouldn't go more in detail about it but you will come to know about it when you become the part of the mastermind family and hey guys if you want to be part of the mastermind group don't think look back take action be an action taker just like me three years back i was in a miserable state i was not able to connect with my audience my clients even my team members for that matter today i make an impact with my presentations and i also want to help you with my message and it should transform your life.